outside the Cherokee County School District office. So, Brooklyn, what her pastor tell you today? Well, her, her pastor tells me her death came as a shock to everyone. He says she was hospitalized with the flu, and within days, she was gone. Those who knew Arden Bradley say she left an impact on the entire Cherokee County community. We're a close-knitted area. We're a close-knitted community. Reverend Josh Henderson says he's known Arden most of her life. Arden attended Gaffney Middle School and his daughter Blacksburg, but the two were close. And he says Arden was always a positive influence on his daughter. She was just a phenomenal kid, gifted kid. She had a smile that could light up the whole world. But Friday morning, their world shattered when Henderson says Arden unexpectedly died from flu-related complications. He says his family is shaken by the news of her sudden passing. I got the news early Friday morning. I was getting up for work and I got a text message from her uncle that um, that just sent shockwaves. And days later, Henderson presided over the teen's funeral. He says Arden's death hits especially hard because she was also close friends with his daughter. We took a family vacation the weekend before school started. Arden went with us. Uh, we had a blast. We had just, we had just an awesome time. Um, you know, you take things like that for granted and then something like this happens and you wish you could go back to those times, even though it was just back in August. You still wish you could just go back and, you know, and be frozen in time. I know that the effects of losing her is going to be felt by us, but I can't imagine what her mom and daddy is going through. Well, the Cherokee County School District released a statement earlier extending their condolences to Arden's family and friends. Arden's family asked that any memorials be made to the, uh, to the um, Mills on Wheels here in Gaffney. We're told this was a cause very close to her heart. Live in Cherokee County, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Brooklyn thinks all new a